video game. What are we even talking about? Not only is Yasuke a real person, which doesn't even matter, because there are so many projects out there with a white protagonist traversing through a different cultural background that does not take away from the representation of that culture's background. But somehow we're drawing the line with a video game that has a black person that actually existed. Oh, I'm sorry, that's cultural appropriation. How dare this be set in feudal Japan and you can't play as the Japanese? They scream from the rooftops as there's a second protagonist who's a Japanese woman. Oh, wait, nope, my fault. It's a woman. Doesn't count. I swear my blood pressure is going to go through the roof because y'all are using racism and sexism as a way to hide your hypocrisy. Hi, thank you for checking in again uh, to the I uh, talk a lot or my bad. This is just have a mic podcast, I guess. Just one mic. Um. Anyway, enough of the formalities. Let's just go back to this. Well, he said I was right, actually. Um, I don't know why we're getting mad over Yasuke being a being like you know the first black samurai in the game when there's the whole anime built behind him that's showing that also the story upbringing of how much he cared for others even though that not only that but I mean in comparison to the new Assassin's Creed game Shadows it looks fucking phenomenal okay I don't care the fuck that rich I I really don't have much to say what he said was overly right I'll just be overshadowing so really i'm just saying this just to put this out there stop hating on games just because niggas are decided to be the main characters and decide to go ahead just focus on us now y'all already have the propaganda of everybody else being whatever other race and now that we're now also showing these stories that which are also true with us being part of other cultures and how much we've, we've also in their culture and then understood it and was maneuvering through it as one of them even though that we weren't seen as one of them out of respect for them you see what i mean so as much as y'all want to get mad about everything else let's just look at the facts here y'all just mad for real because again it's just not about you guys and that's okay and you guys can all console within you guys yourselves and just say it's okay it's not about us because it's not like let, let's just let's just have fun what what happened to games being fun like between games not even being fun games that decide to give you paywalls because of the fact that now they want to be like oh we're gonna try to get 70 dollars for a game that was originally 20 dollars. what the fuck am i doing like bro, like bro, games used to be at a price. Like they used to be like affordable. Like it was expensive just the fact like you know bills and everything else were need to be paid. But like all together, let's be honest, they were at least somewhat understandable. Thirty dollars for a game, yeah, sixty dollars, huh? Like now I'm debating on if I even want to play a game or not. Like now at least like like bro, even when you play on PlayStation Store, then on top of that, the game's not even the full game. Now you got to pay for everything else on the game. Like, like again, you just paid for, like, just to basically say you have it. That's it. Like, you don't really get any content inside. It's it's almost like games turned into OnlyFans women, all right? Where they're like, pay this price, and now, boom, you just get this. Then, all of a sudden, now you got to pay more shit to get just what I paid for. Man, fucking game, can we, can we talk about this, please? Why the fuck are you charging me maybe $300 just for me to play your shit, even though damn well it shouldn't even cost that much? Why am I paying more money on on these things when when we know for damn sure it shouldn't even be that much? Like this is why I, I tell people all the time. If if you guys ever want to know the game that I would recommend for anyone else to play, that is I believe is grind worthy, and every penny that you decide to put in the game is actually worth it, and it's not behind any paywalls. By the way, that you only put money into it if you so wish to, because you can cause everything you get that yeah, they say like, oh well, quote unquote get paid. No no no. You earn it in the game. It is all earnable. The game is called Warframe. They don't pay me, but I'm just saying, try it out. It is worth it. Personally, if you guys ever want to sponsor me, Warframe, um, I would love it, by the way, because I play your game very religiously. Like, how many hours I have in that game is almost like, I would say, uh, as most would say, uh, you know, saddening. I've played more hours into that game than I've probably paid attention to in any four years. And even during even my work day, I have not paid that much attention even while I'm at work because that game is fucking phenomenal. And what they did there, <laughs> I'm going to tell you this right now. I believe it's better than, than Destiny. I said it. Crucify me. You're welcome. And by the way, may peace be with you all. That's all I gotta say about games. We got more things on the way. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this piece in here. I'm just blabbing at this point just because my camera's on. Anyway, thank you for my TED Talk. Quack.